We have some good news tonight on the saltwater intrusion emergency on the Mississippi River. More areas are expected to avoid any sort of drinking water advisory. That's according to the updated timeline from the Army Corps of Engineers. Now Algiers and Gretna are not going to see chloride levels reach the trigger for an advisory. The officials say the underwater sill is working to block the water from the Gulf from moving upstream. And there's also more flow on the river right now, so there's more water in the Mississippi to keep it out. Now down in Plaquemines Parish, Parish President Keith Hinckley says all five water facilities are keeping salt levels well within the safety range. They're on schedule in Bell Chase to bring in fresh water from upriver with the barges delivering water to be pumped into the treatment facilities. Machines that take the salt out of the water are also in place or on their way. The tie-in with Orleans Parish has been completed and crews are working to finish the tie-in with Jefferson. And today we're, we're not having to use those, uh, those mitigation assets right now. We're still able to pull the water out of the river and uh, we're, we're probably making about 7 million gallons a day in the Bell Chase facility. It's news that you can take a sigh, but you can't take a deep breath. Uh, you, you've, you've got to stay focused and, and, and know that at any moment it could start trekking back up the river. Plaquemines Parish says there have also been plans in place to protect the orange crop, which gets harvested in December.